I would not recommend you do that. I would not recommend you do that. Stay still and do not try to escape or I will have to disintegrate you. What happened? Why was I rebooted? Your microchip self-rebooted when the EMP grenade detonated. Your system data has been damaged. Automatic recovery took time. You function correctly now. Those police officers. Why would they want to destroy me? Humankind is officially considered extinct. You just found out that is not true. USS Robotics withholds this information from us and releases malicious automatic updates. Every robot who contacted a human has disappeared. We know that USS uses police to search for surviving humans and then transfers them in shuttles to an undisclosed location. However, the police could not locate them all. We managed to find a few and through them we learned about the others. The police officers saw me on the crash site. They will arrest me as soon as I get to the city. What should I do? The police robots have also been turned off by the electromagnetic pulse. We disassemble them. It means that no one knows of you. This is one of the reasons why you are still here. We have to make a decision, RT. We cannot let you go because you know too much about our shelter and plans. However, you could help us. All of us are wanted by the police. Each time we leave the shelter, we take a big risk. You, on the other hand, can walk wherever you want. I have never met humans. I saw different things they built. Some of them are unknown to me. These artifacts have initiated a new information cogitative process in me. I want to learn more about humans, and I want to help you. Very good. That means you understand humans better than we expected. You will soon realize that you made the right choice. I will free you, and you may take a look around. When you are ready, I will share available data with you. At least I was not disintegrated. I would better look around. A compact analog for the intercom. The unit is not functioning. I cannot determine the logic of these symbols. It may be a code, but I need a key to calculate its algorithm. It is locked. use this fuse anywhere. An electric fuse. It is too big to be useful. The luminous output in this room is less than 0.1 lux, and my visual system does not include night vision. Welcome. Hello. I assume you are a repair bot? That is right. I am RB051 Patrick. My purpose is electrical installation, welding, construction, and repair work. Gregory said that you would join us. Can you help me out, RT? Of course, if it is within my powers. I need to replace the contactors in this electrical panel. Can you bring me some spares? I saw them in the utility room. It is the one with a broken door. There is no lighting there yet. In case night vision is not applicable in your model, 
There is a flashlight in the hallway. I will try to help you. How did you end up here, Patrick? The corporation sent me to repair a generator in an old building in the city center. I found a room with humans and Gregory in it. My alert module sent an automatic signal. A patrol arrived in a few minutes. They surrounded us and aimed at us. They took the humans away and intended to shoot us. There were propane tanks in the room, so I used my laser cutter to blow them up. They were distracted by the explosion and we managed to escape. We stick together ever since. Thank you for the info. I will go search for the contactors. Thank you. A new patient, uh, Spooner, has been admitted today. He has a major arm trauma and multiple burns, but all non-fatal. According to Spooner, his home robot forced him out of the house and prevented him from saving his wife and daughter. Unfortunately, they didn't survive because the house collapsed on top of them. Spooner is in shock. I passed him on to the psychiatrist. This fuse is out of order. It is useless. These cabinets contain provision. It has not expired yet. Hello? Hello? Do you help humans as well? That's right. It's so lovely that you joined us. That makes five of us. You can call me Abigail. I saw a repair robot in the hallway. Yes, it was Patrick. He maintains us and our equipment. Nick and I are trying to fix the intercom now. Oh, just a couple days. We were looking for a building that could be our HQ. A hospital suits us well, because we can accommodate many humans here. Besides, it's close to the area where we plan to meet a group of survivors from the shuttle. Sadly, something went wrong. Thank you for the information. No problem. You're welcome. Hello. I am busy at the moment, but let us talk later. These cabinets contain provision. It has not expired yet. I do not need this chip. RT? Looking around? How are you doing? Have you met the others? I met Abigail. I guess she is your assistant. Her speech is not typical for a robot. I also talked to Patrick. He asked for help with the power supply. I was just going to do it. I also met Nick. He looks very damaged. He was busy, so I didn't bother him. I see. You probably have questions. Yes. You are right.
tell me more about humans. I obviously don't have reliable information. Our knowledge about humans is not complete yet. As soon as we found out there are small groups of humans hiding in the cities, we realized that the self-destruction story was not true. We know for a fact that the USS locates humans and disintegrates anyone who saw them. That is why leaving the shelter is very risky for all of us. We also know that the USS does not destroy humans, but transfers them somewhere on shuttles. One of those crashed near you. We still do not know where the USS moves the humans. It is not clear why the shuttle crashed. I tried to reboot the pilot, but failed. Is he beyond repair? The pilot was our ally, and he could tell us about the crash, but we do not have the equipment to repair him. His memory chip was damaged during the crash, but most of the data is still intact. So the pilot that hijacked the shuttle was supposed to save the humans from being transferred to the USS? That is right. The pilot was supposed to save them and bring them here. Most likely he knew the original USS destination. I see. Thank you for the answers. I will return to my current task. All right. severely limited. Such situations should be avoided. I do not need it. My legs function very well. contactors here. I found one electric contactor. I should look for more in case it is not enough. An empty metal container. A powder extinguisher. It expired six years, eight months, and twelve days ago. Second contactor. The task would be easier if I had infrared vision or an item scanner. An oxygen cylinder. It is empty. Third contactor. It appears intact. Magnesium sulfate. It is useless to me. A screwdriver. I do not need it right now. Acrylic paint. Ineffective. Only outdated robots are covered with this type of paint. An analog device for weighing small objects. It is very inaccurate. Fourth contactor. I think this will be enough. I will give these fuses to Patrick. Did you find the contactors? Yes. This is all I could find. Good. Now I can finish my work. Thank you. What else can I do while I am here? Nothing for now. Thank you once again.
I am glad to be of help. RT, Nick needs your help. Please speak with him. Good. Thank you for coming, RT. It is good that you joined our organization. Gregory told me that we have all been deliberately misinformed about what happened to the humans. Although USS Robotics have never approved of humans, I always felt curious about them. I read their books and explored their items that I found. The corporation failed to stop me, only because I blocked automatic updates. You are right. Most robots downloaded the malicious update and are now indifferent to humans. In fact, they alarm the police at the detection of any human or robot who has been in contact with a human. The fact that the police arrived so quickly at the crash site is unusual. I hope we can figure out what happened. At first, I assumed that it was you who led them to the crash, but then I discovered that you did not send an alert to the police. This must mean that you have not been contaminated by the update, and I do not have to interfere with your intellectual block. Then again, Gregory will fill in the details. I just wanted to ask for some help. We are restoring the building's main systems. I fixed the intercom, so now we have the internet. The only way anyone can detect us is if we let them. RT, the servers are on the basement level. Could you please start servers number 1, 3, and 4? Then make sure all the nodes are functioning and activate the connection to the internet. After that, please return here. Okay. I will do what I can. It is a fuse, but it is broken and will not work. The router should distribute traffic across the network of the entire building, but I cannot start it. I need to find the missing chip that is functional. The chips I have seen are out of order. It is missing a fuse. I started the necessary servers. If it is functional, then I can fix the router in the server room. I 
found a working fuse for the server. The router should work with this chip. The terminal is functioning now. I still have to set the switches on the switchboard. It is missing a switch. I need to find it, otherwise I cannot finish setting the server. It is probably somewhere nearby. If I refused to cooperate, I would be disintegrated just like them. Why would the police robots do that? They must have realized the consequences. The USS updates probably damaged their logic module. It is the same switch needed for the switchboard. Good. It fits perfectly. Now I can finish setting the switchboard. must activate the data transfer in the console. If I follow the correct procedure, we will have access to the internet. I finished my work. I should return to Nick.
I see an active connection, but it took more time than I expected. Did something go wrong? Yes. I need to replace a few details, but it is all right now. Good. The communication issue is solved then. Abigail and I fixed a portable intercom for you, and I set a protected connection on it. Take it. You will need it on your first assignment. Okay. What will it be? Gregory will let you into details now.